What's up YouTube, Sean here. Today we're gonna learn how to play Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud, breaking down all the chords so you guys can play this tune. Just uses some basic shapes like D, G, A, E minor. And we also have B minor, which is a bar chord, D slash F sharp, and A7. All the tabs are gonna be up here during the video. If you click that link, it'll bring you to the end where I'm zoomed in, showing you how to make each one of those shapes up close. Over here is gonna be our strum pattern, and in the description will be all the chord progressions and anything you need to play this tune. So the guitar today needs to be in E flat. Meaning, all the strings are tuned down a half step, so it's not E, A, D, G, B, E, it's E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Here's what it's going to sound like on the open strings, down a half step. If you hit the flat button on your tuner, and then just tune it like you usually do, it should make your guitar sound like this. Okay, gonna start out on the first verse. We're playing this pattern that you just heard me play eight times. So we're gonna play a D chord. This D chord is not gonna use the high E string. So normally your D sounds like that, but we don't need that note on top. So we're just gonna pluck the G, B, or uh, G, B, and D strings, like that. Moving to D slash F sharp. Moving to G. This G doesn't need your third or fourth fingers, just the notes on the bottom. And then an A chord, plain A major. So after that, you're going to do this, hammering on from 2 to 4 on the G string. It's just a little thing at the end. I'm also adding these percussive Slaps. So again, D, D slash F sharp, G, A, hammer on. And you just loop that. You're going to play that again eight times until we need the second chord progression. Okay, so the next thing we need after we play that eight times is going to be E minor, A, D, E minor, a, E minor, A, B minor, E minor, and then A7. That's going to be our pre-chorus. Let's strum that out this time. Okay, E minor, A, D, E minor, A, E minor, A, B minor, E minor, A7. Build it up, stop the strings, 
then we're into the chorus. All right, chorus is the same pattern that we played for the verse. Instead of eight times, it's gonna be four. And after that, you're gonna do this. So that's going to be B minor, A, G, D slash F sharp, E minor, A, D. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. Again, that's B minor, A, G, D slash F sharp, E minor, A, play that once then you're back to the second verse playing the same pattern eight more times so basically starting the song over because everything else is gonna stay the same too so play this pattern eight times we'll just say that this is the eighth time whoops I haven't been doing my hammer on have I E minor, A, D, E minor, so this is the pre-chorus, A, E minor, A, B minor, E minor, A7, chorus. Four times instead of eight. After that, we hear that piano solo, at least the version that I listened to, the live version we had. A little piano there, just over the verse, chord progression. After that, you're going to play the chorus, which is just the same thing. At the very end of the song, you're going to play that descending line three times. These chords again, B minor, A, G, D slash F sharp, E minor, A, and D. And that's the tune. So we just have like three different chord progressions. Again, in the description, you'll find the whole song laid out, all the chord progressions you need, all the chords you need. So if you guys got any questions about this one, please let me know. Send me a message, send me a comment, let me know what's up. I'll get back to you as much as I can. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And you'll get lots of lessons in your subscription box. My name is Sean. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. The first chord we need is going to be D. D is made like this, first finger, second fret, G string, second finger, second fret, high E string, third finger, third fret, B string, just like this drum. The A through high E strings. Now for some of this tune, you don't need that high E string. I'm just gonna need the three strings, the D, G, and B strings. So that's gonna be the first chord. Later we're gonna need the full D chord, so that's how you make those two versions of that. D slash F sharp. 
looks like this. First finger, second fret, low E string, second finger, second fret, G string, third finger, third fret, B string. So it sounds like that. We're going to strum the low E to the B string. Okay, G. For this tune, we need G as just two fingers. Second finger on the third fret of the low E string, first finger on the second fret of the A string. Just gonna play the low E to the B string. And that's gonna be G. A looks like this, first finger, second fret, G string, second finger, second fret, D string, third finger, second fret, B string, strum the A through high E strings. That sounds like that. E minor is like this, second and third fingers on the second fret of the A and D strings, strum all six strings. B minor is going to look like this. First finger bars across the second fret of the A through high E strings. Your third and fourth fingers have fret four of the D and G strings. Second finger has fret three of the B string. Just the A through high E strings for this one. And let's think, A7 we also need and that goes like this. Second finger on the second fret of the D string, third finger on the second fret of the B string. Strum the A through high E strings, and that makes an A7 chord. And that's gonna be it. So if you need to go back to the beginning, you can click that link and we'll start right on the first verse. <laughs> 